Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Skyping, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is Poisson Distribution Chart on Tableau. And here, guys, Poisson Distribution, huge formula, very complicated. You need programming to do that on Tableau, so we are not going on that. All of our formulas are on Excel, and here, how do we chart it on Tableau? So, first of, and by the way, if you want the Excel video, the video is in our video description. So, what is Poisson distribution? Very fast. Models a number of occurrence in some unit of measure, often time or distance. There is no limit on the number of occurrence, so uh, average number is a constant, and an experiment satisfies a Poisson process if, that is the most important, the number of successes with a specified time or space interval equals any integer between zero and infinity. So, any number. However, no negative number, because if you are talking about success, doesn't make sense to have a negative success. And the number of success counted in non-overlapping intervals are independent, so there is no dependence here. So, for instance, I want to measure how many customers I have on my store. But first, they need to go to the bank. So they are not independent because if they don't go to the bank, they don't go to my restaurant. Or if they go to the bank, maybe they will be going to the restaurant. So they are not independent. Uh, and probability of success in any interval is the same for all intervals of equal size. It is proportional to the size of the interval. What does it mean? For instance, on average, I have uh, 300 customers uh, in a month, a 30 days month. So that means I have, on average, 10 customers per month. So no seasonality here. All the uh, average is proportional. Examples number of customers who use a new bank app in a day. So let's go to our Excel file. And by the way, the Excel file is on video description. So here, what do we have here? Gabby is concerned about staffing needs at the restaurant she managed. She believes that the typical customers average 15 visits to the restaurant over a 30-day month. So how many visits should Gabby expect in a five-day period? So if the period 30 days, 15 visits, so half visit per day times five, 2.5 visits. Probability that a customer, and then here, we have two Poissons di distribution as well as any distribution. The Fx, that is exact number, or capital F, X, that is the cumulative. So what is the difference? The B is the FX. Probability that a customer visit the chain five times in a day period. Exactly five times. No, four, three, two, or one, or six, five. And here is 0 0.06 or 7%. And C, that is the cumulative. What is the probability that a customer visits the chain no more than two days? Zero, one, or two, cumulative. And then a second scenario, a new menu, that could change the average to 21 visits over a 30-day month. So we have the formulas that is what is very, very hard to do on Tableau. And then on Tableau, we have these numbers. We have the copy and paste for the current menu, that is this one, and the new menu, that is this one. So we don't need a lot of columns here. Only one column for current and new menu, the scenario, X, the number of times, and then exactly and cumulative. So, okay, let's close it and save it, and let's go to the Tableau. Remember, Tableau is not a database, so we need the Excel file. Ah, uh, where are you? Poisson distribution on Tableau. Oh, nothing here because we had two sheets. So Tableau is the one that we are using. And here we have a problem. 
the x, the number of times, is not a value, it's not a variable. It is a dimension. So we should convert to dimension. And then, okay, what do we have? So first, let's go to exactly and later to cumulative. So here, scenario ties and the cumulative, or sorry, exactly. So this is what we have. So for the current and for the new menu, and then we compare the distributions or we can compare them just like this one, current and new menu, but if we switch here, current and new menu. However, the color is not the type. Color, we can go on scenario. Oh, much better, see? Current and the new menu. If we expand it a little. Current and new or current and new menu. Okay? And then, if we duplicate it, we have here the cumulative. And instead of the exactly, we go to the cumulative. And see both. So here, the current scenario for the exactly three, but here, exactly two. Uh, exactly three, exactly four, we have exactly five more uh, probability, so more money, or the cumulative. Here we have at least, or maximum of four, 89%. However, the 89 is quite close to here, that is five, one more customer, or even six, or 5.5. .5 customers and so on. So more customers going to my restaurant before we get the 100%. And we can go on dashboard. Poisson. And then, but before that, what if I want to see only current? So we can add the scenario on filter. Apply it. Let's show filter and okay. But I don't want to add filter on both. What do we do? Apply to worksheets using related data source. And then we have the filter here and we can show the filter here as well. So if I go here only the new menu, it will be only the new menu for both. If I go all here, it will be all for both. So one, and that is very important here for the dashboard. I will be adding both here, current and new menu, exactly and cumulative. If I go here on dashboard, I can control all of it. Oh, it's missing a title, dashboard, show title, and we get our title. And if we have a lot of scenarios, a lot of Poisson distributions, we can compare all of them. Okay, guys, easy, huh? Easy and very, very interesting. So, guys, questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a very nice day and God bless you.